Okay, folks, um, as of this recording date, <coughs> we only have two or three weeks left until end of life for XP. And when I say end of life, I mean no more Windows updates, no more security patches, with the exception of uh, Microsoft Security Essentials updates. Those will be up to date for at least, I think, another year or so. Uh, for those who don't want to go to Windows 7 or Windows 8, it is possible to use XP safely on the web. Uh, however, it requires a little bit of work. And if you got kids, it's going to be interesting as well. Um, the things you can do is uh, April 8th will be the last. This is patch. Normal Patch Tuesday will be the last patch that you ever get from Microsoft. Some people are saying, oh, they'll cave at the last minute. I, I doubt it. Uh, I think they're sick of supporting it, to be honest with you. It's been more than, it's been what, 12, 13 years? That's long enough. Um, you know, after April 8th, that's it. Other than, like I said, other than Microsoft Security Central updates, that's going to be it. Uh, either use Firefox or Chrome, for obvious reasons. I mean, if they're not going to be supporting any more updates for Windows XP, you're not going to get any more patches or updates for Internet Explorer, no matter what version you have on XP, it's going to be a dud at that point, and it's not going to be safe. If you have Office, make sure that's patched completely, uh, especially some of the older versions. Uh, any Flash or Adobe Readers or anything like that, make sure those are updated. Uh, anything third-party that you're not using, you know, I mean, if you're not using things like Java, if you're not using that, flush it. Uh, that's just a, an extra point where they can attack you. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Anything that you do keep on, instead of things like your Flash or PDF readers, PDF readers, sorry, I'm still waking up, um, have them ask you if you want to run them by default instead of just automatically running them. Extra safety precaution. Uh, keep your Microsoft Security Essentials and anything else you have like that up to date. Keep your, keep your firewall on. Make sure, and this will prevent, uh, I think it was about 90 to 95% of these exploits on any version of Windows, but particularly XP after this date. Make sure you run as a limited user, not as an administrator. Um, I'm a bad boy. I run as an administrator, but I'm careful. I'm, I'm exceedingly careful. Sort of the research I do with a second computer for uh, CryptoLocker, I haven't been bamboozled in a long time. So uh, run as a, lim a limited user, or even better, guess that we are thinking that, that like most of these viruses and malware that get in your computer, they require that level of administrator to install anything. So if you take that away from them, then you don't really have to worry too, too much. It's still a good, good idea to be careful, but that will prevent a good majority of the stuff getting installed. I th think it was around 90 to 95% in the last article I read uh, as far as vulnerabilities go. If you're a limited user or hell, even a guest, especially if you have kids, sign them on as a guest. They can't even change the time of date, time and or date or anything like that on XP. So that's it for now. Take care. Have a good day.